Hi, everybody. We got coffee today. Yay. Not because our Starbucks is open, but because Bethany is wonderful and stopped on her way yeah. to work. I knew I needed coffee for this. So, mm -hmm. coffee. You know why I need coffee for this? I asked Sydney to pick me out a simple heart pattern for Valentine's Day. It is simple. It just has tiny pieces. Yeah, seven-eighths of an inch. Squares. That turn so, into half squares. We're going to be learning how to do micro-piecing, which I do know how to do, and I'm actually kind of good at it, so... Yay. It's actually not that hard. It's one of those things where you, if you have the right tools, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to teach you today. So, for those of you who do not know, uh, we are going to be making the cutest little heart table runner. And it looks like that. Oh, you printed it. Look how prepared you are. So, instead of me trying to come up with a pattern, what we're doing is we are going to be showing, walking you through the steps of this pattern. And I'm literally going to walk you through and we're gonna try this, and let me know what you think of this method. So this is a free pattern. If you go to cluckcluckso.com, under the tutorials page, they have a ton of freebies. So this one is the I Heart You Mini. So this will make a cute little mini quilt. So cute. You know what? Mm, if you finish it, I should just like stitch it on the Sashiko next week Ooh, on here. Yes. That'd be cute. We'll have to find the foot control, but. Crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> we lost our fit control for that. Um, but, so we're going to try a new thing where we will um, be doing pre-done patterns that are free. So if there's something simple and small, then let us know. We are also going to be doing multiple weeks because I kind of get the feeling mm -hmm. I read through this this morning. I think we'll make it halfway through during the hours mm -hmm. and I don't want to rush through. So I think this will be a twofer. So we're going to try and do some two, part one and part two where one week we'll be doing the first part and then the second week we'll be doing the second part. But it all depends on how long that takes. I also want to do some sort of machine ge demos and general mm -hmm. machine information like what's a serger? How does that work? How do I oil my Bernina? So I plan on doing a series of videos in this that's kind of like that as well. Just kind of crash courses and how to take care of your machines and what they are. Yep. And we're also going to show off some newer machines and some other machines than what we have been. So <clears throat> so we plan on doing this series I think every other week and mm -hmm. when you have a two-parter we'll do that two Saturdays in a row. Correct. Okay. So, all right, guys, so let's get started. So what I have done um, on their website, this is literally the PDF that you will be downloading. And um, I'm not a huge fan of how they ha have it laid out for cutting because they have each individual section, <coughs> like the cut cutting out instructions yeah. where you go through and cut. So mm -hmm. I just went ahead and cut everything out. And look at me being all industrious. Here is my border bag. Here's my heart one I'm bag. Proud. This is the most prepared you've ever been heart for one of these. Heart two bag, heart three bag, and heart four bag. So I am prepared. So I went ahead and cut everything, stuck it in little baggies. It is ready to go. You amazing. I'm very proud of myself on this one. Also, I'm going to take a second to turn this just to show everyone Robin's new sample. Yes, it is so cute. I love it so much. Uh, Robin said she's almost done with the pattern for this, and we'll have the pattern and kits available probably sometime next week. And it does have another row of the buttons at the bottom. This yes, it's just huge. This is a monstrous quilt. I yeah. love it. Love it. So <clears throat> Yeah, Robin's, Robin's on a sewing kick, so. I know. Yeah, she finished we'll two samples sew. for us. <laughs> Sometimes oh, you need it for your sanity. Yes, you do. It's best therapy that there is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm literally going to be doing is I'm just going to be walking you through the pattern. I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing it, and you can follow along if you like, or follow along afterwards. Yay! All right, so we're going to start with the I Heart You Mini. I've already cut everything, so I can skip the cut parts, because I've already done that. And we're actually going to start with the heart. Plus, it's just easier to refer back to a pattern multiple times mm -hmm. instead of having to do this from memory. Okay. So, I have my background pieces, and my first heart is just going to be this real dark teal that I love. Ooh, I like your leggings. Those are cute. Thank you. <laughs> I can't find my Valentine's Day leggings, so these went instead. All right. Nice color. So, I'm actually going to do it on your little table. Okay. I'm, I'm no, stealing you're... your table. Honestly, this is mine now. it's handy. Okay. So, lay out the print pieces as shown. Um... So this is the big piece, and I need my four and a half inch square, which should be that one. And basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting on this big heart. And this is pretty standard on how to make heart, too. Now, we did pick a white on white, so I just need to be careful and make sure the white mm -hmm. side is going down the side of the print. Um, 
<laughs> if you want to make this more beginner friendly, you can use solids or batiks. Exactly. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up here at the bottom. And perfect. I'm going to take my pen. And yes, I said pen. And I'm going to draw a line. Some people are really confident and can sew that line with sew this down without drawing line. I am mm -hmm. not one of those people. You know, I always do it. I've only ever had to rip out a couple. <laughs> I'd rather not rip. Yeah, I just eyeball it because my <laughs> all of our sewing machines sew really straight. But it is good to go ahead and do this. This is yep. what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so you want to line up your corners and then you want to start in the center and pull out. And you notice I'm making small little movements rather than one long one and that will keep it from doing the thing where it just yanks and creates mm -hmm. like a little bubble. And yes, I am using a pen. So this is a very special pen. This is a friction pen and I'll show you why. Because I can come in here and draw all over this and it will be just fine. Mm -hmm. Those of you who know what a friction pen is, is already, they're going, oh, I know what that does. Okay. So, now we come over to our machine. Today we are playing with the Janome 9450. 9450. Um, right now I have the straight stitch plate on and the dual feed version of their quarter inch foot. Which is the AccuFeed foot. I love it. So in here, I also... I'm going to move your table closer. Look at the size of the foot control. I, that's very nice. And it's a dual foot control. Yep. So go pedal here and cut pedal here. Very nice. So I don't have to do much of anything, which makes my life real easy. So basically what I want to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to position right on that line. And I'm going to start off slow because I'm normally a speed demon. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to sew on your line. Do, 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 do. Sewing. Cute. Foot control. That's okay. nice. Yeah, that the tiny foot control cuts that for you. So from here, we're going to turn around over here because I'm going <laughs> to... I also want to show everyone what happens. So you can see the green line still. Mm -hmm. So I have my nice hot iron. And if I come in here. Gone. It's gone. Instantly. Love it. He won. I love that pen. That makes my life really easy. It also has a kind of little rubber eraser on the back end of it. And you can kind of rub it away yeah. too. I prefer the iron because it, it works two better. Seconds. Yeah. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to first open it and make sure this is <laughs> That you're not correct. cutting it off the wrong way. And then I'm just going to trim away the excess. I'm only going to cut, leave a quarter of an inch. Wouldn't that be a fun oopsie this morning? Oh, at that point I would just cry and show them how to make a standard heart and go to bed. And ideally you would be using your uh, ruler and a rotary blade to cut a good quarter inch there. But we don't have room to set that up yep. up here too. <laughs> scissors work. Sharp scissors work. Yes, they do. And now I'm just going to press that. Whoops. I'm going to do a good job pressing that instead of a... <laughs> My goodness, Bethany. And are we pressing to the dark? Always press to the dark yes, side. Yes, because that teal would definitely show through that white fabric. Remember, the dark side has cookies, so we mm -hmm. go to the dark side. And that is internet memes for you from the 90s. Yeah, from the Star Wars. Um, so we've got like 30 people watching or any of you guys planning on putting this together. It's a really cute, simple oh little gosh. project. So there's part of my heart block. I love it. I picked out that white on white. I love it. That white on white is actually perfect. It's also going to be the backing. Oh, I picked the wrong chair. Sorry, I'm up in your space right now. We can <laughs> okay. trade chairs if you want. This one's a little smaller. Eh, I'll stick with my comfy <laughs> chair. I will stick with my comfy chair. Okay, All right. so the next part. So, so far we have done that piece. So this <clears> part, <throat> so how this is going to work out is this is going to create that half, and then that's going to come in here like that. It will make sense eventually. Okay, I was going to say it doesn't to me yet. <laughs> I read through the instructions at least, so I did do that. I am not that bad of a person. Oh, no. Looking at it, I see why now. Does it make sense now? I wondered why the heart was in three pieces, but that's because they're layered on top of each other. Yes, they are. So, once again, I'm going to take this with white on whites. Just make sure you're putting the right white side down. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to have a weird spot. And some people will notice it. Some people won't. I'm of the team, if you're noticing it and you didn't make the quilt, then you're not allowed to look at my quilt mm -hmm. anymore. But if you're using uh, prints for this, just we're sewing these right sides together. Yes, we are. And mush pan again. I love this pen. This is legit my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. And they come in a whole bunch of colors, and there's a clicky version that's just fun for me to click. <laughs> funny i've had to stop using click pens on our wednesday videos because i will click them yeah you will and that's on anxiety 
So I'm just drawing out my line here. A little easier to do on this tray table. Huh. All right. And yeah. rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. I'm going to get up in your space so we can see here. That's fine. I like this chair. This chair is very, very, very comfortable. I'm going to go for it. Scissors. Even though I know I have the button, the pedal, I still like the button. And then, once again, I'm positive I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Famous last words, people. I know. Just like that bag video that we really need to redo. Yes. We will be redoing that at some point, guys. The tote bag. <laughs> yeah. I think I might even include <clears throat> something into it, like, you know, how to put on a pocket or something. A pocket or a zipper. I want you to do a whole zipper episode. Zippers are fun, and they're easy. I like how everyone's always terrified of zippers, but that's legitimately one of the easiest things to do. And I'll do a buttonhole episode as long as it's on the machines that have one-step buttonholes. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple step buttonholes are not going to be there. They're not. They're really not. And, whoop, where'd my other piece go? There it went. So can you see the heart yet? I see it. Okay, so the next step is we're going to come in and do the same with these teeny tiny little points up in each corner. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Miss Sid, how's your cat? She's wonderful and adorable, and I love her so much. She had the zoomies when I left this morning. <laughs> For those of you who do not know, <clears throat> Sydney got a cat. And I love her, and her name is Nessie. And for those of you wondering if that's a Twilight reference, no, it is not. I've already asked. <laughs> I will tell you. So Nessie is short for Loch Ness Monster because me and my boyfriend are nerds. However, there was one day I was driving home and I was like, what if I told people jokingly that her real name was actually Nessica? Brandon has started calling her Nessica. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not her name. It is now. Oh, it's so funny. Like when she misbehaves, he's like, Nessica. <laughs> She's a kitten. Surely she can't miss the hay. I know. She's not even a year old. Does she do the thing where she, like, throws her poop out of the litter box when she's angry? No. My cat does that every once in a while. She's actually a really well-behaved little angel. And then we're going to come in here. Ooh, Valerie asked if we have a recommendation for an iron. Uh, I am currently using... I'll do that on the floor. Huh? The Black & Decker, the classic, and I like it. <clears throat> uh, I'll be honest, my iron came from Walmart, and I have a bad habit of dropping them, so. Mm -hmm. You know what I really like? We don't have any in stock right now, but for especially for these tea tiny little pieces, those that, uh, what is it? It's like a little, like, inch or two long pressing iron on yes, the stick. I love those things. Oh, they make tiny irons for tiny pieces. Like, literally, the iron part is like an inch by an inch and a half, and it's on on, like a long six inch long thing that probably makes no sense but <laughs> my heart cute it's really not too terrible also pro tip you could uh, also mark all of your sewing lines as you cut yes you can if you're that organized and I am not I'm I'm glad you got this much done ahead of time <laughs> Robin was watching me cut this yesterday and she's like are you really over there cutting seven eight inch squares you know I actually didn't pick this pattern it was not me, so don't blame me. I think it was Riley. Yeah, right, Riley or Beth? Riley, because Riley's cute, and I can't blame Beth because Beth is cute. Are you saying I'm not cute? No, you're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is half of my heart done. So now we got to do the tip, which means I'm going to give this a quick press. Again. There are a lot of uh, really great cordless irons out there, too. There, Oh, them. there's another one that I've used where you, uh, one of our customers had it, where you put it down and it has its own base. Mm -hmm. It, like, pops it up. So the it's, Rowenta. oh, the Rowenta one. That one was there nice. Enough, they're expensive? Oh, yeah, several hundred dollars. But, like, yeah, if you can like afford it, it's amazing. It's one of those things where if you put your money into a really good thing, you yeah. can have it forever. I mean, you get what you pay for, especially with electronics. That is very true. Unless it's iPhones, but I won't talk about that right now. That is the biggest form of contention between me and Ashley is the iPhone versus the Android. I'm uh, glad that a lot of people are taking note of the right to repair issue. Yep. But <laughs> this is not the place for that. <laughs> That's still a bunch of malarkey. Okay, so now I've got my little line, so I'm going to go here. 
once again, these two are going to go like that. Yay. I hope you can see the lines on camera. A little are, bit, yeah. Those were not my best lines. Who's going to remind me to pick up all these pens that I dropped? Ooh, not me. Mm. And I hope y'all can see, my phone is not wanting to zoom this morning. My touch screen's being grumpy. I'm seriously about to lose my boots, though, because I am one of those people that has to sew barefoot. <laughs> I have the button, but I don't think about the button. You want to laugh at me? When I'm at home and I sew barefoot, I drive like SpongeBob and just press the pedal with my big toe. I mean, that's how he finally got his driver's license. <laughs> Mrs. Puff was so proud of him. I haven't seen that episode in the forever. The first season or two was SpongeBob. Mwah. Yes. But then <laughs> the last few seasons were, um, they were just dumb. Yeah. The first 200 episodes were good. God, I can't believe there were that many. Oh, there's like 500. Is it still running? <laughs> no, I think it finally got canceled. Yeah. Finally. I remember watching the very first episode after Kids' Choice Awards. Yeah, I remember the day that first episode aired. And going, oh my god, this is stupid, I don't like it. And then all of a sudden it became my favorite show. <laughs> right. Okay, now, we have all of my pieces. Very nice. And we're probably thinking, that's weird. Why is the corner of that heart not connected like the left side? Correct. And the reason, we're going to layer them. Yes, so, we are. Once so we, we are get to now the second officially heart. done with this sec section right here. So now we're going to flip it over and we're going to make heart number two. So we are going to take this part and we are just going to gently lay them out. Where am I going to gently lay these out? I'm going to gently lay these out over here. Okay. The spray is going to come in handy for when we get down to the real tiny stuff. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to heart two bag. And we're so, pretty much just going to do that four times, increasingly much. smaller. Except for, recognize that color? Yes. That is going to become one of the pieces. Neat. All right. So basically we're going to do pretty much the same thing oh, again. This whole thing just clicked for me. Did it? Mm -hmm. Did you get it? Cute. All right, so I have my big piece, big <clears throat> piece, left piece, my little dude, which is going to line up right here. This thing is actually really simple. Like, I complained a lot about it. The only thing that's going to suck on this thing is the tiny, tiny piecing. But honestly, once you master tiny piecing, the world is your oyster because there's so many miniature quilts out there that are so flipping cute. Like, almost all of Jen Kingwell and what's her, what's her bucket who has the editor. Edda mm, Sitar, yeah. Her stuff is tiny, but it is so cute. And beautiful. And once you master micro piecing, oh my gosh. This isn't even micro. <clears throat> I've seen some where it's a half inch square. That was, mm -hmm. that was an entertaining one. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, I feel like for our next video I want to do, mm -hmm. I want to touch on sergers, but we also are missing most of our floor models. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> And you notice I immediately had a thing where it was like, oh, nope, I'm going to suck right down in there. It's because I started too quick. So go slow when you start on the corners. Mm -hmm. And that will negate that. That's my thread just broke. Yeah, and if y'all are having trouble where the uh, little bitty corner here is getting sucked under your throat plate, that's also why we're using a straight stitch plate. Yes, if you don't are. have one of those, especially for stuff that you're starting on a little corner like that, straight stitch plate makes a world of difference. And a needle up, needle down button makes a world of difference. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Maybe. <laughs> the heck? And does Bethany know how to use a Janome threader? No, no, she does not. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for this. So we're just going to do this from start to finish. Yeah. I'm just going to look at the quilts behind you real quick because they're pretty. Okay. I can't get over how much I love that one that Robin did. And both of these are pretty i love the butterflies and we've got tom and jerry we've uh made a point to have at least a couple panel quilts in the store as well because people always ask what they can do with panels and panels are one of the best things there we go and yes you notice i now have more light yay Oh, ooh, I forgot this machine had that. This machine specifically has this little pullout that is a light. Scissors. I like that. That made my whole work area just so much brighter. Because, like, look at the difference. That, two. Yeah. yeah. 
Honestly, we haven't had this as a floor model for a while. I forgot how much I like this machine. And around. <laughs> this is why we get the rolly chairs out. So I just want to open it up. Before you make any cuts, unless you're 1,000%, just open it and make sure. Because mm -hmm. otherwise you're going to be recutting. And we had a question about a straight stitch plate. So, it might be a little hard to see here, but most uh, like standard straight stitch plates, whew, right here, will have one big wide hole. So, on this machine, the standard plate would be a 9 millimeter wide hole. You can see here, this one has a single hole. Most straight stitch plates just have a single hole in the center position there where that one is. And this one actually has three positions so that you can use a straight stitch plate for multiple positions. Um, but basically what it is, is it gives a smaller hole for your needle to go down into and therefore your fabric won't get sucked down in there either. Correct. Um, it's uh, standard with machines that do machine embroidery, but otherwise you probably would have to get one extra, but they really, really help with any time you're doing any kind of straight stitching. And if you have a more expensive machine, they generally come. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's half of my heart now. Oh, half your heart. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'm I love this collar. I want to steal this. This is so pretty. Okay. Sorry, I had to double check and make sure which one it was, because that one, is that that one? Nope, flip those two. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Wait <laughs> a minute, that looks wrong. And there you go. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, and this is why you double check. So, once again, we're just going to, really don't need the bottom half, because I can just come over here. And, where'd my pen go? So I'm curious, we've only got 24 people watching this morning, which understandable as we're following a pattern, but I am wondering if anybody would be curious or uh, interested in seeing a video on sergers. I would just show you kind of what sergers are, what they do, how they work, and why you want a self-threading one. <laughs> yeah, that part more than anything. Yeah. We're going to position this down here, making sure I'm going the correct direction, because otherwise I'm going to have a weird looking heart. <laughs> it's going to be the Grinch of quilting. If heart two size is too small. Aww. <laughs> that is still the form of so much contention. I have this one friend who debates with me every single year on Christmas how the Grinch could never have lived because of his heart condition. <laughs> you know, but he's not human though, so maybe like health conditions don't affect him the same. See, now that's my argument, and he's like, nope, they're close enough to a human that a who would have that issue. How do you know? <laughs> and I got two yeses on the surgery, so I might be doing that, what, probably two weeks from today? Yes. What time is it? 9.23. You're making excellent time. What? I'm making excellent Ooh, four yeses. Okay. Yeah, surgeries are wonderful, guys. Well, I guess we can plan on that. Either two or three Saturdays from now, I'll do a surger video. Something other than a pillowcase. Uh-huh. Since we've already done that one. All right, press. I love the uh, little zipper bag we did, what, two Aprils ago? Maybe last oh, April? that was a fun one. I like that one. I wouldn't have enough time to fit that okay. in one video, though. So here's the fun part. So this is what's going to make these hearts nest is, I'm going to put you over here because I don't need you. So I have this tiny little chunk of teal from my other heart. And that is going to go in the upper corner here. And that's going to be where your hearts overlap in yep. each other. Cute! So this one I'm not going to draw because I'm not sure I can break that mm -hmm. one. Plus my, tea, my green marker won't work on that. I need to get my other marker, but I don't know where it is and I'm not going to hunt. And Becky asked, do we sew right on the line or just to the right of the right line? Right on the line. So for this specifically, we're marking a straight line from corner to corner, and that is exactly where we are sewing on top of that line. And then we are trimming a quarter inch outside of that. Yep. And you notice I'm going really slow when I'm starting, and that's preventing it from sucking it right on down in those feet dogs. Yeah. Which you can also turn down your max speed a little bit, and then you won't even have to think about it. Yeah, point. <laughs> I am a notorious speed demon of Robins all the time. Will you slow down? Mm -hmm. Also, um, on a serger video, I would definitely also discuss cover stitch. I wish I had more floor models right now. I've got a bunch of uh, 
regular, more low end chargers that you have to manually thread yourself. I've only got one self threaded baby lock in the store, but it does serging and cover stitching, so I can definitely cover that. Do we still have that self threaded burnette? Uh, yes, we do. Good call. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here, trim, trim, open up, and hearts. Cute. Ooh, okay. <laughs> And if y'all don't get this pattern yet, once she irons this, it'll make sense. Yes, it will. And this is the easiest way to make a heart. And this is, okay. This is a very sweet, sweet little table runner. When they showed me this one, I was like, yes. Because I didn't realize how tiny it was, but hey. <laughs> me either. It's still adorable, and I'm actually really excited to do it. So this is going to nest over here mm. as a point. And these two. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, guys. This is literally just turning into chat hour. Yeah. But you know what? That's okay. I like chatting with you guys. Nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't mind a video on, like, how to read patterns, but I would not be the person to do that because I usually don't read patterns. Have you ever followed a pattern to the tee? No. What I usually do is, like, read a pattern for fabric yardage to buy, read the pattern for cutting instructions, and then I figure it out on my own from there. She does, and it drives me nuts. It's... For me, it's easier than having to read someone else's pattern because like Robin was saying yesterday, by the way, Robin is an amazing pattern writer. Yes, she is. Most people are not. <laughs> um, and we got a question about where the pattern is. We posted it on Facebook, a link for it. You can also find it on cluckcluckso.com. It's I heart you many. Oh, wow. 10 by 19 inches. Okay, yeah, this is tiny. Sorry about that. Yeah. I veered a little bit on the end of this one, so I'm going to go in and fix it. Just stitch over it. Yeah. There we go. If you ever see that you veered, it's okay. You don't have to go pick it out. Just sew over it. It's mm -hmm. not the end of the world. And now, we're going to part, and we're going to press again. This may not need to be a part two. Yeah, it's 927. I think if we keep it up like this, we'll do well. Um... Y'all are there. Part two of me the thing. Yes, which I would love. Because we have a Q16 over there, and I adore the Q16. Oh, yeah. I love the Bernina free motion. All right. So now we're going to go to heart number three. So y'all are there uh, any other videos that you'd like to see this year besides like machine specific ones and following patterns? And we'll come up with a few random ones like we did last year. You know, the tote bag, the wine tote. I like the wine tote one. Eventually, probably not anytime soon. I did a binding video. I think that was video three or four. I also want to do one on a flanged binding, but it's pretty similar. All right, this thin one goes there. You go there. You go there. You guys are going to go up top. Got it. And I'm just going to give you a super duper press because that's a little wrinkly from where I folded it yesterday. And what the hey? Let's give it a try. Let's see how good. Oh, you doing it without the line? Let's see how good my aim is. Aim's actually not too terrible. Yeah. Go slow. I really like this one with the dual feed quarter inch. Mm -hmm. That's really, really, really nice. Woohoo! Not bad at all. I'll take it. I'll take it on one condition. Mm -hmm. I said that upside down. Oh, Bethany. <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm going to have a whoopsie, I might as well have a decent one. We did the white on white the wrong way. Yep. Here, I gotcha. Thank you. It should have gone that direction. Mm -hmm. But hey, that was a pretty straight line, considering I freehanded that. Ooh, okay. I've got uh, suggestions here for that. each of us. Basic machine cleaning. Mm -hmm. Either of us could do that. Any project you can make with a serger, I am on that. Yep. Stiff fabric baskets. Oh, those are fun. That's something I can definitely see you doing. And I have done them before. They are fun. It's pretty much the same idea. As the rug, but 3D. The rug, but way better. Yeah. I love those. <laughs> I still hate that rug. I know. At least yours finally flattened out. It took, what, two years? <laughs> yeah, of being walked on. Oh, well. Worst things could happen. All right. Well, hey, now that I actually have my stitch line, I'm just going to turn it. Ha! <laughs> 
I was confused, uh, confused for a second. Vanessa said, welcome Jack to the video. I was like, did someone have a baby? And she said, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Ness. <sighs> <sighs> One of my favorite applique patterns someone ever gave me is a Grim Reaper that you're supposed to applique. And he's, instead of a scythe, he has a seam ripper. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do a fabric basket. I think that's a great idea. Um, and if y'all don't know, uh, April, Baby Lock has declared his National Surger Month. So I'll definitely have to do some pre projects for surgers between now and then. Better. This is why you double check. <laughs> I would have been so mad. I would have gone home and gone back to bed. My cat would have enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. Mine too. Ness is, I'm, I'm talking about my cat like a child, but I love her and I'm not going to ever have kids. Guys, she, <laughs> she, she's lived with us for nine days now and every night she gets like further and further up on the bed. So first she wouldn't sleep with us. Then she slept at the foot of the bed. Then she would sleep at like hip level and she slept <laughs> up at my chest all night last night. And I was sleeping really hard. Mm -hmm. Brandon mm -hmm. said she got up like walking on my shoulders and I did not stir. <laughs> We've been busy the last few days and we were tired. I did the same thing. I yeah. cannot say a word. I went home and crashed. Yeah, night. I was up and down the ladder and moving fabric all day yesterday. I was pooped and I slept real hard for honestly like 10 hours. I accidentally slept in this morning. Who knew a quilt shop would be such a physical job? <laughs> And making sure it's coming out the right side. Yep. And that you have your fabric the right direction. Yep. This, is really so like this. this is so cute. I love these colors so much. And guys, we will have a couple of kits available for this. So if you want one, they're not that much fabric at mm -hmm. all. I think I did it up. It's going to be like almost $20, somewhere in that vicinity. Nice. So if you want to make an exact copy of what I'm doing. Which I do. I adore this piece. And here it is. Okay. Now. We're going to do the same thing. I think uh, I'm going to make Bethany finish the top today, and we'll post a picture of it, and we might have her free motion quilted on the Q16 next I'm Saturday. I'm so fond of that because I love free motion quilting. Mm -hmm. And then she'll do what she usually does, which is bribe me to bind it for her. That is true. Hey, it works. <laughs> it works. All I have to do is make the binding and bribe you with food. So, <laughs> Kathy said her cat won't sleep with her. Funny thing that I just purchased admittedly at Walmart um, is catnip spray and if you spray it on something it's supposed to attract your cat to it obviously I bought her a little uh, like domed bed for her to sleep in and she wouldn't go in it sprayed a few sprays of the catnip spray and now she sleeps in it every day <laughs> so you could do that with your bed if you wanted to just to get the cat used to it <laughs> yeah. I still want to make my cat catnip tea because I want to know what she's like when she's high mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I always heard that cats, like, aren't attracted to or don't interact with catnip when they're a kitten. But Nessie's only 10 months old and she sure likes it. <laughs> Maybe it's because Nessie's already had kittens. True. Sad face. My baby had babies at, like, she got pregnant at, like, six months old. I just, uh, she still had her little mommy titties when I adopted her. Sorry. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry. Yeah, she she just uh, lost her kittens and got spayed like the week before I adopted her. In fact, I think the, the Humane Society still had one of her kittens. I'm sure it's gotten adopted by now. That is legit the best part of my morning. I'm now. sorry. <laughs> I mean, I've said way worse on here and no one ever caught me. Yeah. They did and they just didn't say anything, so... Yeah, that's it. Bethany uh, accidentally curses a lot. I do. It's bad. Oh, which way do I bind? I've done a binding video. Um, you redo that. <laughs> yeah, I did a binding video. It's Stitch Witchery. I think episode three, maybe episode four. So that's on our YouTube. Um, but I do machine binding. I What do I do? I attach it on the back and then I top stitch it on the front side. And I've got some tips and tricks for corners on there as well. By the way, if you ever want to see a teeny tiny little square, here it is. What time is it? 
It's only 9.35. Sweet. This is moving right on along. Also, I remembered to turn off my phone volume this morning, but every time I get a notification, my phone vibrates and the camera goes blurry. <laughs> Oops. I'll turn that all the way off okay. next time. Okay. Tiny pieces, and this Tiny. isn't even the smallest heart yet. <sighs> you two are not allowed to pick out fabric and materials, patterns anymore. Love you. I am going to do a stuffed animal at some point this year, like a little teddy bear. Yes. Because I love it. And I love pillows, so there will definitely be a pillow at some point. Who? Oh, yeah, that's so funny that my phone goes blurry every time it vibrates. Thank you, Publix, for reminding me I have a prescription. Aww. Twice in a row. Did you not get the first one? Sorry about that. <laughs> It's Publix telling you to also get a Publix cake because Publix cake is the best cake. Mm -hmm. I do have a $10 Publix gift card in my purse. There I could just go. bring you a cake. <laughs> I want Typhoon Noodle for lunch today. Ooh, I do love the Typhoon Noodle. They have decent bubble tea. Not the best bubble tea, but it's decent. I, it's the best I've had. The one at Black Mountain is definitely superior. And here comes the tiniest heart of them all. And we are almost done. Yay. I am fine with that. We might get most of the top piece today. Definitely all of the little heart pieces. <laughs> okay. So this one is a touch different because this one is not going to be nesting. So, so we're going to take this square is going to go here. This square is going to go here. And do we have that facing down? These are the exact same Flip size. Flip that white piece over. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> These are the exact same size, I think. Yes. So because this one is not going to be weird, mm -hmm. this one is easy. This, yeah, this heart's only in two pieces instead of three. It's just a miniature heart. The big thing here to keep your stuff from sucking in is to start slow. Mm -hmm. Don't be a speed demon, and if you have to physically force yourself to go slow, put your speed down. Because I would have had so many issues normally because I am a speed demon. Mm -hmm. You just floor it. Yep. Floor it! And that would make the machine have a nice breakfast and chew up all your fabric. Exactly. Cute. And here's all our little pieces. I really love these colors you ended up picking out. I love it. This is such a good palette. I just realized you were using this cute little half ruler, too. I like that. Add it in the back. Thank you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. It's my handwriting on there, <laughs> but I don't remember where it came from. I don't know, but I'm going to blame Jenny. On two. I miss Jenny. Okay. I live next I live door to her, door. but I miss working with her. You can walk over and pat buttons whenever you want. I know. I never, like, hang out with her for more than, like, five minutes, especially nowadays. Yeah. And, yes, we do have an encyclopedic knowledge of people's pets. <laughs> We're happy to see you, too, but we really love seeing your pets. Mm -hmm. If you have any pets, especially poppies, please bring them to meet us. They will get all the attention, and they will leave completely rotten. Mm -hmm. We keep milk bones under the counter for a reason. We love our puppies, <laughs> and we love kitties too. We yes, never we have. Get kitties. We've met a cat here. We have met uh, several birds. Mm -hmm. I have heard about meeting a snake, but that was before I worked yep. here. That was the cutest thing ever. I didn't even realize it was a real snake until it moved. Apparently, he just had surgery on his tail because he broke his tail. Oh. And the guy was, like... Wearing it as a necklace. necklace. And I was like, oh, that's a cool necklace. Oh, wait, that's real. Because it was a tiny little baby snake. And snakes are good. Black snakes are your friends. You mm -hmm. want a black snake. Yeah, I feel the same about snakes as I do about bugs. You just got to know which ones are the good ones, which ones are the bad ones. Okay. Now I really will need the instructions again. On the table. No. The big thing is, how did that part go on? Ha, there it is. That's exactly what I thought. All right, so this is a 7 8 inch square, guys. Mm -hmm. Torturous. Oops. Torture. It's really not that it's bad. It's not that bad, actually. <laughs> so this one and this one are both going to go here. So come on over and we're going to play. All right, I'm going to stand up so I can try to get a real good angle on this little bitty piece. <laughs> I felt it. I felt the vibration. That was me getting an email. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically when you're doing these tiny little pieces, you want to go from an angle. And 
I always drop my foot and I'm just going to preemptively drop my needle. Mm -hmm. And then super duper slow. Just like that. Now, you can also use a leader piece and an ender piece, which is where you have another piece of fabric and you sew on that and then you butt mm -hmm. this up. Sometimes I find that more effective, especially if I have a um, anything other than a single hole throat plate on. Yeah. If I have my single hole throat plate, the easiest way is just to drop your needle first and go super duper slow. The big thing is making sure these things line up because these, for some reason, are a pill to line up. And since they're so tiny, you really got to be perfect. Uh, Cheryl, yeah, after we complete this video, it will process and be up on Facebook to watch, and I'll also share it to our YouTube page. Uh, if y'all want the link to our YouTube, it is on the homepage of AshevilleCottonCo.com. Scroll about halfway down, and you'll see a, a link that says Stitch Witchery Sewing Videos. And then we open, and there's half of my tiny little That's heart. That's adorable. And... And then the rest of this confetti can just go in the trash, or you can find the person who told you to do this as a good idea and throw it at them. Thank you. You're welcome. Again, I did not pick this pattern. <laughs> I don't know. You've had a history of picking real tiny stuff lately. I want or to Rosemary. get in a mini quilt book. Yeah, she says she likes the challenge. <laughs> We've got a customer that started doing a lot of our shop samples for us, and the past two that I've picked out have accidentally had little half-inch pieces. Oops. Horrible. Okay. Does my phone want to zoom in? There we go. That is the right side. That's one thing I don't like about white on whites is I love them. I love the appearance of them, but it's real easy to get those backwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. And drop. Position. Needle. Perfect. And if you find that you're having a lot of issue with it, I actually brought over some stabilizing spray just in case I was having issues. Mm -hmm. But honestly, this Janome is Perfect. doing absolutely phenomenal with this. Good, good, good. So, and then the other thing that you could do if you're having issues with it is switch over to a smaller needle, like mm -hmm. a size 70. And just make sure you're not using your machine's needle threader with yep. a needle that small. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things you can do if your uh, fabric's getting sucked up and chewed up by the machine. So straight stitch play, leader fabric where you start sewing on a different piece and go on to this. Smaller needle, spray starch, all of that's going to help you out. And then heart. Cute. All right, I'm zoom back out. <laughs> I have a glass screen protector so it doesn't like to work very well. <laughs> Because she's had to replace her screen protector at least once a month. Yeah, my actual screen is cracked under it, but this phone's too expensive. <laughs> I have a plastic one, and it's really nice, but it gets gross real quick. Yeah, I just drop my phone a lot. And heart. Adorable. Look Lay the whole thing out. Okay. So now, the next step is to do this. That. Smack my knee. So this is going to go... Oh, I also eventually want to do a video on machine embroidery. I've taught embroidery classes here in the shop. I love embroidery, which honestly surprised me. I never I never even thought I would be into quilting. I definitely would not have thought I would love machine embroidery, but it's fantastic. Why am I already missing a piece? Are you? Yep, I'm missing a piece. <laughs> oh no, Bethany. <laughs> it's the top piece of that heart, isn't it? Yes, is it, it over is. there? No, and I definitely sewed it. You did. Like, you literally watched me sew that. I did. What the heck? Um. <laughs> How did I already lose a piece? I was, oh, hey. Hey. Stuck to the edge of the ironing Thank board. You. And Yay, then, it's so look how cute. cute that's gonna be. We have the borders. So we have in here my chunks that are going to fill in the gaps. So this chunk is going to go here, this chunk is going to go here when that's all sewn, and then this chunk will go here. Correct? Correct. <laughs> so super duper simple. So now it's a matter of whoop and then border. So 
love it. All right, I'm going to start working on that again, and let's see. Yeah, it's only 9.45. You've got time. I've got plenty of time. So what I imagine the first thing we're going to do is sew the top and bottom of these together. Mm, logically, yes, but no. <laughs> logically, yes, but no. I think you have to start from this end and work your way that way. Well. <laughs> or we could, you know, do the thing and read the instructions. You know what? Your leggings match the fabric. I love these leggings so much. Okay, I see how it goes. Logically, yes, you are correct. You could do it either way. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. You're supposed to assemble the center and then work your way out on each side. That makes so sense. I'm working with this guy first. Yes. Mm -hmm. My coloring is different from their coloring. No, we're actually working with this guy first. Mm -hmm. Got it. My coloring is different from their coloring. So this and this are going to get sewn together. And I'm going to bring this over here. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I can already tell I'm going to love it. I can already tell. I'm already thinking of how I'm going to quilt this. But if anyone has any ideas on how they think this should be quilted, let me know. Passport trials are not hard. I think you could do like little cursive style hearts in free motion. Ooh, that'd be cute. Just little loopy hearts. I need to find some soap between now and next week. Mm-hmm. And for those of you who are going, why in the world does she need soap? The answer is, I use it to draw on my material because when I wash it, it's soap. We've got a chalk pencil around here somewhere too. Oh, but white. Yep. <laughs> charcoal liner. Oh, I do love me some charcoal liners. I have a yellow one at home and a silver. Or I could use my friction pens. Mm-hmm. I find they're not as fluid for curvy lines, though. The friction true. pins are better for straight lines. I will agree to that statement, big time. But I have a full week to figure out what I'm going to do. Heart! Yay! Look how cute that That's is, guys. That's precious. I'm, like, really happy with how this is turning out. So, y'all, if you uh, love her fabric selections, I think we're going to have at least two or three kits of this colorway available. That is the goal. And we're just going to line everything up and start working our way over. Mm -hmm. Or if you want us to pick you some pinks and reds, we'll be happy to do that. Yep. I think my favorite part of this job is helping people pick out fabric. Oh, big agree. I picked out like three quilts yesterday and I was so happy. Mm -hmm. I really like it when people come in and are like, okay, I want a quilt and I want these colors. Have fun. Yeah, basically. Is legit the best part of my day is picking out quilts like that. It's like, yes, creative freedom. Oh, and then so I expect cute. to see it in like a week and I'm like, please bring it in. This is when I get excited in quilting when you can start seeing the pattern come together. And now, oh, so cute. This way. I see why you start on that side. Okay. Uh -huh. There is a reason behind it. It's not just pure insanity, just partial. The big thing here is I want those two to line up. Mm, I heard that. Mm -hmm. It's breakfast time. Yeah, I just had a little Belvita cookie in the car. Not a very <laughs> good breakfast. I had a cheese sandwich from Starbucks. <laughs> Mainly because I can scarf one of those down in like three minutes flat. Positions you will actually need. Cut. Oh, I'm real excited. I should put some water in here so it turned into a steam iron. But mm -hmm. Still maybe. works. This will be a lot flatter when I steam it out. Later. Yeah. We've only got 15 watching at this point. I think everyone kind of yep. gets the gist. But so I want to keep, keep recording. It's so cute. It's 949. We'll keep recording for a little while, guys. Yeah, at least another five minutes. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to pop them out. Real, real simple little project here. This is adorable, actually. I'm, like, ridiculously excited about this. I did not think I was going to like this one as much as I do, but I sure do. Mm -hmm. And I will say, you're doing a remarkably great quarter inch without using a guide. Oh, I just saw Riley pull up. Riley! I love her. She's so sweet. Look at it! 
That's so two cute. hearts down. So this is definitely a pattern that will behoove you to have a more solid print rather than a mm -hmm. print print. Especially, I wouldn't use anything directional. No. Oh, it's so Not cute. even a little bit. Cute. Let me go that direction on that guy. Hmm. I think I cut that too small. I think you did cut that too small, so we're going to stop there. Yep. But, hey. At least you guys get the... Oh, no, 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 no. I see what I'm doing. That, that, and then that, and that. Mm. I see okay. it. Okay. I see it. Keep Not it going. Totally dumb. Oh, it's so precious. I really love it. I need a matching colorway, please. <laughs> I got plenty. So, with the way the kits are cut, um, I do have two of them. Uh, you will have enough to do at least two full of pieces. So you could turn these into little placemats. Oh. You could turn these into whatever your little heart desires. This is going to be adorable. I'm really excited about this. I really need a steam. Yeah. But this will do. Just pour some coffee in it. <laughs> I would, but it's so full of sugar it would turn Yeah, no, we're thick. not going to do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Robin would murder us. Well, you know, Michelle bought us that iron. Oh, I miss Michelle. You know, me too. And stitch. Oh, wrong button. I have the foot piece, but I've Really use the foot paste, yeah. Used to the, you're used to the button. How cute! Oh, I love it already. It's gonna be adorable. That is so pretty. I adore this. I'm really glad we didn't have to break this up into two parts. Me too. So, do we want to commit to quilting it next Saturday? Yeah, why not? Cool. That one won't take as long unless we mm -hmm. include your binding. Nah, maybe, but probably not. So, um, so y'all, if you want to catch us next Saturday, we'll announce an actual time and stuff next week, but we'll uh, do a demo of free motion quilting on our Bernina Q16. Yep. Or the Q20. Or the Q20. Whichever one I feel like using that day. Same diff. Q20 is just bigger and comes with a prettier table. That is true. Which, by the way, I can't get over whatever color of that oak that Judy got. I think it's the sunrise. It's so pretty, is it not? Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, Koala makes some amazing, gorgeous furniture. Look how cute this oh, is. Oh, Bethany, I love it. This is going to be the most adorable little Valentine's Day thing ever. I mean, literally, it took me, what, an hour? Yeah. It took me maybe 20 minutes to cut the whole thing out. So, real fast, real simple project, guys. You might have this little top ready for a uh, <laughs> screenshot for the cover of the video. <laughs> Yay. I'm quite happy. I am speeding this up because that's just too slow for me. <laughs> just mind your quarter inch. You can watch my quarter. And I promise I won't start any more debates, even though I've got a good one. What? <laughs> Okay, this is one that I started the other day. Mountain Dew, in its original form, is disgusting. Oh, yeah. But the flavors are actually really good. No, I agree with you. I'm addicted to the watermelon one they just put out. It's like Especially like candy. It came out as a zero. So, like, I love it. They sell it at Dollar General. Nice. And it makes me so happy. It's, it's Yeah, it's like candy. Like, I'm not a big soda person, but when the special flavors come out, mm. it, all bets are off. Yeah. Oh, that's so adorable. Yeah, this do with a steam press, but that'll do. Cute. All right, so I'll finish it off, and we will post the remaining bit later. Yay. All right, Bye and we'll guys. see you next week for quilting. Have a good one. All right. Bye. Bye.